Emergency training is a cornerstone in the preparedness of WFP and other UN agencies, uh, non-government organizations, to prepare for ongoing emergencies and for sudden emergencies. We have done it now for over three years, two trainings a year of two weeks with an average of 20 participants. The reason why we train so intensely is because in any sudden emergency, telecommunications professionals are the first ones arriving on the scene. We need to make sure that the humanitarian workers that arrive later are able to communicate with each other. It's a great training. I think it gives you the feeling of the real life situation when you might come across this kind of uh, situation and you have to deal with yourself and with your colleagues and the environment in which you will be probably going for a mission. When we get to the emergency, there is no time to try to figure out how we need to do things. We need to be prepared, we need to have everything ready, we need to have standard practices and procedures. So we are ready to go when the emergency happens. It's important for us to, to, to meet all together. It's an opportunity to meet outside of an emergency, get to know each other and make a common language and it will make it easier in the field to work together. We specifically target emergency response managers, not only to be able to uh, respond on the paper, but also in reality. We take uh, examples from the real world and also we prepare the, the people to respond on a personal level to get them to know what can happen to them in emergencies. At the beginning, you do not understand what is going on. All the simulations have been fantastic. The standard of the presentation is a very high standard. And also, the, I think they've managed to give us a sense of like what it's like to actually be in an emergency. Now I have more of a concrete understanding of how you prepare a project plan, how you use this project plan to obtain funding or to assist in funding, and the importance of different factors in a emergency deployment. The practical scenarios are really good, so that we get to do the things, that we don't just sit and listen to lectures, we actually get to do the exercises and work as teams. He is going to give me a lot of tools on how to manage emergencies, how to manage the staff, how to manage equipment, how to deal with donors, and how to have leadership capacity, and uh, in the whole how to become a better manager in emergency operations. People that do the training together, people have done the training, they understand each other, they know what language to talk to each other, they, they can refer to common modules they had during these two weeks and they work as a team much better. Than that.